Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some stuffed cookies. I put them in the box so you can tell this is how they come. They tell you to open here. And it says, you deserve something sweet. And then it gives their social media links. And then you have the cookies. So this is the Red Velvet Brookie. This is the Nutella Chocolate Chip Cookie. Then we have the Oreo V-Day Cake Cookie. And lastly is the Cookie Monster Cookie. They also give you this uh, little postcard that comes on the inside, and it says the shelf life is 10 days. Uh, upon receiving in the mail, please keep an airtight container if removed from bags to preserve freshness. Uh, in the freezer, cookies can be frozen for up to three months. Once removed from the freezer, either let them thaw at room temperature for a few hours or reheat them in the oven for three to five minutes at 350. Please don't free Please don't freeze cookies with cereal or pretzels. Reheating all of our cookies, all of our soft cookies, are delicious at room temperature. If you wish to reheat them for a warm, gooey center, three to five minutes in the oven at 350 or 15 seconds in the microwave. Do not reheat cookies with cereal or pretzels, again. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're not going to heat our oven up for, for just a few cookies. We're going to heat them in the microwave. So... We're going to do, uh, we'll do them, um, I'll show you how they all look. So this is the Oreo V-Day Cake Cookie, and we, um, we'll talk about these once we get to the table. So this is a really, you see how thick that is? This is the bottom. It looks like there's some chocolate chips in there. And then we have the Red Velvet Brookie. And this one is definitely stuffed. Look how thick that center is. And there's the bottom of that. And then we have the Nutella. These all have a, a nice edge around them. And this smells, this smells really good too. It smells, I can smell the, the chocolate in there. And this one is the one I'm looking forward to the most out of all four because this one has different Oreos in it. So you can actually see, and it has a, a Lotus Biscoff, which you can see there. So we are going to heat these up for 15 seconds a piece, and then we'll be back to cut them for you. So we've heated them in the microwave, and we're going to open up the Oreo V-Day cake first so that you can see on the inside. So that, it, yes, it's ooey gooey on the inside. And then we're going to the puffy one, the Red Velvet Brookie. Ooh. And that looks nice too, that, that you can see the red. And then we have the Nutella, and there's some sea salt on top of that. Lots of Nutella on the inside. And then the last one, Cookie Monster. Ooh, look at that. That looks awesome. So I want to give a big thank you to Adrian for sending us these. I had I've never heard of stuffed cookies before, mm -hmm. and uh, Adrian um, is a cookie queen. She keeps up with all the cookies, so she sent these to us, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna start off with the Nutella. Do you want to just I guess scoop these? I know we set them up here on the table, and now we're gonna move them away. Okay, we've cut these too. We've already cut them into fourths. Make it easier on us. I honestly cannot read this on the package at all, so I wrote myself a cheat sheet. It's, um, it's white writing on yellow, so you can't it's read It's very, very hard to read. Now, I do not have calories for any of these, so at the end of the video, you're going to see the packages, but and the ingredients are on the back of the packages, but there's no calories. I did not see calories on their website or anything, uh, so I would have given you that if I had had it. Um, so this is a, uh, the dough is a vanilla brown butter. And then you have the mix-ins are dark chocolate and milk chocolate chips. And then the stuffing is Nutella and it's topped with sea salt. Go so, okay. Grab your piece. I'm gonna grab this piece because no. it's, it's a, a thick, thick one. I love how stuffed that is. Mm. 
can definitely tell it's a tell mm -hmm. That's amazing how much um, 15 seconds in the microwave, how gooey that'll get that. Mm -hmm. I ate all mine. It's a very, very <laughs> soft dough. Mm -hmm. um, it's a soft, it doesn't even seem like a cookie texture almost because it's so very, very soft. It's just like they barely bake the outside of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what though, if you like that raw cookie dough texture, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a little softer than that. I'm not saying I like out of the refrigerator, but if, if you like a really gooey, soft cookie that's really underdone, you'll love that. Now, I do have to say, I'll, I'll, I like the chocolate flavor, I like the Nutella flavor, mm -hmm. but you're go you might be shocked to hear that that is not an over-the-top sweet cookie. It's not, I mean, it's sweet, but it's, it's, not sweet. Like, it's not like one with frosting or something like no, that. No, it's not. It's not as sweet. So it's very good, mm -hmm. but it's not, it, it's not it's like, sickly sweet. no, it's not at all. Um, so, and if you like a crunchy cookie, you'll be a little disappointed that. Right, because there's no crunchiness yeah, to it at no all. Crunch. It's all soft from start to finish. Every single one of those ingredients is soft, soft, soft. So there's not any like additional, like you don't feel a different texture of the chips because they- Or the, even on the edges, it's no, not baked like there's, crunchy. No, there's no difference in texture. It all has the same texture. Mm -hmm. So just know that. Yeah, because I know some people really like a crunchy, crunchy cookie yes. and that's, yeah. not, that's not it. <laughs> okay, this is the Red Velvet Brookie. It is vanilla brown butter with dark and milk chocolate chips, so same as the first one. But then the stuffing is mascarpone red velvet brownie, and the topping is sea salt. It looks uh, almost like a brownie texture in there. It is. That's what it said, a red velvet brownie. Oh, it does say brownie. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. That's really good. I like the, the texture and the flavor of that brownie in the middle. Mm-hmm. Once again, it is all one texture. I think even if you didn't microwave them, they wouldn't be crunchy. They no. might be firmer, but they're not, they would never be crunchy. No. Which I don't have a problem with. I don't either. I like a soft cookie. Um, I mean, yeah. I like crunchy cookies too, but there's a place for a crunchy cookie. When I'm looking for a crunchy cookie, I specifically buy one that says crunchy. Otherwise, I'm really wanting that soft cookie. Or if you bake them at home, you want I it want soft. I want it soft. Cookie. Oh, heck yeah. yeah, I want it soft. That, really, I really got the sea salt. Mm -hmm. It was at the very, very end, which I love. Um, but it, it is, um, I like the, the stuffing, the brownie. It is a lot like the first one. It is a lot like the first one. Because um, I think they use the same outside cookie part. So it is a whole lot like the first one. The only real difference is that they didn't use Nutella in that yeah. one. Yeah, that one you get more of a hazelnut flavor. This one you get more of a chocolate flavor. Okay. The next one is the Oreo V-Day Cake Cookie. And I think um, they have this one because it's around Valentine's Day. I believe normally they have like a birthday cake. They have many, many different flavors of cookies, by the way. Um, That's a big chocolate So, cookie. same dough. Yeah. Vanilla brown butter dough. Uh, I think all it of these. It looks darker, though. All of these, I think, have that. The mix-ins, it's because it has an Oreo mix-in. Uh, and then it's stuffed with cookie butter. And mm. then it's topped with Valentine's Day sprinkles. That's what that brown is. Okay. You can taste that Specky Lou's cookie butter flavor. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It is, if you like cookie butter, yeah, that's really, really good. And you know what? I get a little bit of Oreo flavor too. Because there's a chocolate Oreo right there. That's the one right there. Huh? It's a little messy on your fingers though. But you don't care. That cookie butter, I love that stuff. Lotus Biscoff cookie butter. It makes a huge difference. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> That's good. You really taste that. You get the little sprinkle dyes though, <laughs> all over your fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, the only difference in texture is from those sprinkles here and there on top, but mm -hmm. you really don't get a lot of that. It's really a very, very soft cookie mm -hmm. once again. And, and it's almost goopy like the, the first one was. That filling, the cookie butter. 
Yes. And Nutella were kind of similar texture. Well, you know, think about it. If you bought a jar of Lotus Biscoff and you you put it in the microwave, well, it is going to get runny. Yeah. So, I, yeah. you would hope it is like that. Mm -hmm. I think it... It's exactly what it should be. Yes, it's delicious. I love the Biscoff because it really stands out. The cookie butter really does stand out. That's it is the, a... That's the main flavor. It is a main flavor in that cookie, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Okay, this is the one that I thought, oh, I can't wait to try that. See, you can see the lotus know, here. Lotus. I'm going to get one. I don't care. As long as it has a lotus on it, I don't care. Oh, there's a bunch of that one. So yeah, get that one. Uh, this is the Cookie Monster Cookie. It is, uh, once again, every single one of these have had vanilla brown butter. The mix-ins are Oreo, Golden Oreo, Biscoff Cookies, and Milk Chocolate Chips. And then the stuffing is cookies and cream frosting. I was going to say which, there's a, a white liquid in there. Yeah, so it looked like the center of an Oreo is what mm -hmm. it looked like. Okay, which one do I want this you one? You want that one. Yeah, I want that one. that one for you. <laughs> that was very nice of you. It's nice to have a husband who considers what you want. <laughs> I like that I got all over my hand. Uh, that's why I got pinky out. I got all over <laughs> He's, um, he's a, a posh now. What do you think? That one's okay. Compared to some of the other ones, I don't know. It's it's. I mean, I would say it's less flavorful, but that's surely not it. Um, it's just different. It's just so different from the rest of them. The other ones are so much. They're very similar to each other. This one is so different. Ah, mm -hmm. what I like about this one is that I, it does have different textures. Mm -hmm. So. Because they did use Oreo on the top and the Biscoff on the top, um, you get those different textures. Now, they're not crunchy. So when you buy Oreo cookies or you buy Lotus Biscoff, they're very crispy. Yeah, what's snappy. Yeah, these are not like that because yeah. they did add them to that dough. They're, they're all firmer though. Yes, but they are different. They're a different texture than just like like the Nutella had. It was all one Although texture. All of these are pretty much all the same um, texture. I do like the little different flavors here mm. and there. Yeah, I like the flavor of it. Um, I think it's really nice. I think the sweetest one. I think the sweetest one is the the cookie butter, the Oreo B Day cake cookie. Mm -hmm. Now, what you should I do said that too. is. Um, Go to their website, and because they normally, it looked to me like they have a whole bunch of cookies, like I said. And it looks like they do have some rotating cookies like every week. Like they feature those at the top of the webpage. But then if you go down and keep scrolling down to the bottom, they have a bunch of other cookies listed, which all look really, really good. It looked like they had a birthday cake all the time. Mm -hmm. If that birthday cake has that cookie butter, if it's the same cookie, but they call it a different name, that's the one you definitely want to make sure you get that if you order like a box of four like like uh, adrian did for us definitely you'll want to get that one because that's my favorite one that's my favorite one too. yeah and i do think it's the sweetest because you really do taste that cookie better so that don't one, miss out on that one that one and then probably the nutella mm -hmm. because it reminds me of just a really good chocolate chip cookie honestly um then the brookie then the i, I hate to say it but i think the oreo would be my fourth really yeah um I don't really like the goopy kind of texture of the rest of them, the softer texture. Yeah. This one just, I don't know. It's just, maybe it was the frosting just didn't add a lot to it or something. I don't know. You, there's a lot going on in it. It's and good. I really do like it. But you, you think in your mind that you're going to be able to taste the individual flavors of like the golden Oreo yeah, between the regular and between the Lotus. You really it's hard to tell the difference. It all kind of goes together. Yeah, it, yeah, it does. It merges together. Uh, but I still love that gooey center. Yeah. Oh, when I say it's in fourth place, it's like, you know, it's like this. Somebody like, has to come in. It's alive. right on yeah. top of each other. They're all excellent cookies. Yeah. I, I would recommend this company, or at least these flavors, um, to anybody. So what is your order? 
Your order is the V-Day, the Valentine's Day, uh -huh. and then the Nutella, right. and then the Brookie, and then the, and then the Oreo. Okay, my Although order... I could switch the Brookie and Oreo, they're so close to each other, I could switch those back and forth. My order is going to be different from Kevin's. I'm going to go with the V-Day. We both agree with that because of that cookie better. Mm -hmm. But I am going to go with that Monster Oreo. Cookie. Yeah, the Oreo. Um, I do, yeah, Monster, Cookie Monster. I'm going to go with that second, Nutella third, and my fourth is going to be the, the Red Velvet Brookie. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I could probably switch the Brookie and the Oreo. It's it, for those that are kind of interchangeable for me. But it's only because somebody has to come in last. These are all very, awesome. very good. And don't worry about heating them in the microwave versus the oven because truly, um, good. yeah. And you saw how long we sat here, and they're still. I mean, they're they're still just as gooey as they can be. Mm -hmm. So they have a terrific texture. So. And you don't heat them in the oven that long, do you? Was it only no, just like a, I think it a was minute? just yeah. That's what I was saying. You're heating your whole oven up for three to five minutes. Three three fifty for three to five. Okay, minutes. so three to five minutes is not just in case you want to ask or think about it. I don't think three to five minutes is going to crisp them up any. No, no, no. So it it's just going to warm them up. Mm -hmm. So if you think that would make them crispier, that I don't think it would. Mm -hmm. I could be surprised, but I don't think it would. The good thing about ordering these is that they're individually packaged. I like that. And you don't have to eat them all when you get them. Mm -hmm. You could keep one out, yep. put the rest of them in the freezer. Or the refrigerator. Or in the refrigerator and get them out as you want them. Yep. So you don't have to eat them all at once. Just pick out which one you want to try first and then eat them, eat on them like that. And they're going to be good in the freezer. I think, what, three months? Yeah, three yep. up to three months if you do decide so to So if you're a... Uh, treat yourself on the weekend kind of person and not during the week, then you could exactly the freezer like my them. sister. She would eat all four of these on a Saturday mm -hmm. and that would be, that'd be her day. <laughs> um, thank you so much to Adrian for mm -hmm. thinking of us, for sending us these. We greatly appreciate it. They're good stuff. I'm, they're very good and they really are stuffed. So when they say stuffed, they really did stuff them. I think they did a good job. They did. Um, I'm going to link them below to directly to their website. If you go there, we get nothing. We know nothing about it. The company you know, didn't even know about me. They just knew that Adrian ordered them for us. Uh, but uh, we greatly appreciate it. And I'll have lots of pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.